Hark a Shark, All About Sharks by Bonnie Worth, illustrated by Aristides Ruiz and Joe Matthew. Hark a Shark. I'm the cat in the hat, and for more than a lark, would you care to go to a brand new kind of park? In a super shark tank that is like a small sea, we will visit with sharks. Do you dare come with me? Sharks seem very scary to us, it is true, but most sharks are really no danger to you. People fear sharks, and that's mostly because of films that star sharks with big snapping jaws. But give sharks a chance, and I think you will find they will dazzle your eyes and broaden your mind. See this wonderful boat bobbing here on the water? It's my super stupendous ship-shaped shark spotter. For tracking down sharks, it is the best, don't you know? So hop on a board, and shark spotting will go. Over 400 species swim the seas today. Let's visit with some of them. Anchors away. He looks very happy, doesn't he? Sharks have been around long before the dinosaur, about 400 million years, maybe more. Can you see these? They're comparing the size, the man, the great white, and then this is a prehistoric shark called a megalodon. Much, much bigger. Fossils of shark teeth simply abound. More than 200 species to date have been found. We never find bones because sharks don't have those. Sharks are made up of cartilage, just like your nose. Cartilage helps sharks turn and to bend and to move through the water much faster, my friend. Like a brave knight's thick suit of mail, a shark's skin protects it almost without fail. Stroke the skin head to tail, it's is smooth, you will see. Stroke the skin tail to head, it's as rough as you can be. That's because it has denticles, hard toothy stuff that lies flat for swimming but makes the skin tough. A whale skin gets dirty and gunky, you see, but a shark skin stays clean and it's nearly gunk free. Oh, look at the difference, yeah. A lot of barnacles on the whale. Hmm. It's tough and it's rough and it's sleek and it's clean. Shark skin's unlike anything you've ever seen. These fake shark skin suits help swimmers to, to win. Human skin grafts are grown from a shark skin. Ooh, that's something I did not know. And gunk falls right off of the shark spot's, spotter's side because of the paint that is rough like shark's hide. Huh. Looking for shark's teeth? There are plenty. Know why? Most sharks have a nearly unending supply. From a jaw made of bone, your human teeth grow. Shark teeth grow from gums in row after row. When a tooth becomes loose or else gets a bad crack, it will soon be replaced by a tooth in the back. What types of food will your average shark choose? Most sharks hunt for meat when they go out to cruise. Poor seal. Great white's teeth are sharp for tearing and munching. Horn shark's teeth are flat for crunching, for crushing and crunching. A great work in a horn shark. Okay. They eat different things, so each shark might eat something a little different. Here's a whale shark. This shark you see here might fill you with awe. Can you see it? But the tiniest teeth fill its giant's maw. It's the largest shark that you'll ever meet. We measured it and it's 44 feet. What is our giant's friend's favorite dish? Plants and animals called plankton and we tiny fish. These gill rakers here act just like a sieve. They sift out the food the whale shark needs to live. When a shark swims along, its mouth opens wide. Water that comes out goes out gills on the side. Its tail beats the water and swings side to side. See how smoothly this leopard shark here seems to glide? See pictorial fin, it says. Pictorial fins lift, I have been thinking, like two airplane wings to keep sharks from sinking. Dorsal fins on the top stand up and are ready to keep sharks upright swimming even and steady. And you see his dorsal fin. That's what we think of when, when we see a shark in the ocean, don't we? With its wide pectorals, the angel shark lies flat and as still as a rug while you just look at that. It's so still that you might think that is just napping. Then suddenly, look, its strong jars are, are snapping. Mm. 
The shark comes equipped with a keen inner ear that senses whenever its prey might be near. Inner ear. That little dot, I guess. And the nostrils like holes that sit under its snout. Sniff out any prey that is lurking about. The name that we give these two holes is, is snares, is nares. It's helpful to know what the word rhymes with fairies. Nares. Oh, okay, let's try that one again. The name that we give these two holes is nares. It helpful, it's helpful to know that the word rhymes with fairies. Near sharks have whiskers, and what are they for? These whiskers called barbels sweep the sea floor. These whiskers gizmos do not go to waste. The shark uses them to feel and to taste. You can see them right there, barbels. There's a line of pores along a shark's side. The pores are like sensors set into shark's hide. They pick up vibrations from prey all around, cluing sharks as to where their prey can be found. I guess there's the lateral line. Most sharks, as a rule, have quite keen eyesight. Their eyes can see well in both dim and bright light. The puffer der shy sharks' long tail whips around and helps it hide from predators shark experts have found. The hammerhead shark range of sight overlaps, giving it much better vision, perhaps. But who needs sharp eyes way down deep in the murk, where the rare goblin shark's nose does all the work? Some sharks are hatched out of eggs in a case that is hidden by mom in a very safe place. Looks like it's right in here. Some shark eggs hatch inside mom and then thrive on egg yolk till they're big enough to survive. Lemon sharks like us, as I have just read, grow in their mom's bodies where they're safe and fed in there. So they comes out here and they put the egg right in this, looks like in the sand or in and seaweed, but this mommy shark carries it inside her. This pup is born live, rests a bit, and then hark, off it goes on its own. That's the life of a shark. Thing two has come up with this most clever verse. An empty egg case is called a mermaid's purse. I have seen those on the beach. Tagging is how we have learned very much about many sharks' habits and movements and such. Lemon sharks get tagged and do not seem to mind. Can you see the tag? They, they capture the sharks and carefully and put a little tag on them. You can see them doing it underwater. I think they also do it maybe on the boat. Other sharks mind it plenty. I think you will find tag tags offer data like this bit, for instance. A blue shark can swim a very long distance. He went from Brazil all the way to New York. Wow. In 16 months' time from New York, it will swim for a 1,000 miles too far off Brazil. I guess it went from here to here. Doesn't mean it couldn't go from here to there, from Brazil to New York or New York to Brazil. The things that are now holding a shark spotter contest to reward each shark here for what it does the best. The whale shark is biggest. We've said this before. The smallest dwarf lantern shark, about eight inches, no more. Wow, that's... That's not even a whole foot, just eight inches. The fastest is Mako, it's a speed whiz. The wobble gong might be the slowest there is. There are so much to learn about sharks. What sort of shark is this that I spot? It looks like a thresher shark here, does it not? It has a long tail. See how that tail swishes to round up its dinner, a mouthful of fishes. The tiger shark isn't fussy. It'll eat anything. A clock or a stool or a rusty bed spring. Oh no, that's not good. We need to keep our oceans clean. The cookie cutter shark with its big teeth rips. Neat, perfect circles sucked free with its lips. The spiny dog fish, just call him granddad, lives as long as some humans. That's some life he's had. The megamouth attacks prey. It glows in the dark like works as a lure for this deep water shark. These white tip reef sharks sometimes swim in packs and hunt as a team for their favorite snacks. The spinner shark here confuses its prey by spinning its body in a dizzying way. The great, look at that, that's pretty wild. The great white looks deadly upon close inspection but may be in danger without our protection. 
That is true. We need to take care of our oceans. These are very important for our survival as well. Our visit is over, but hold on, not quite. Let's spend some more time with the deadly great white. The great white is simply a hunting machine. Watch it at work and you'll see what I mean. Dark on its top side and lighter below. It can speak up no matter the angle you know. Its jaws jut out far, the better to grip. Its teeth are made so as to bite and to rip. Its big head shakes hard to loosen and snatch. Its eyes roll far back, avoiding a scratch. Yeah, I think that would be um, the way to meet a great white if you're going to be underwater <laughs> in, a, in a cage. If you swim where it's safe, sharks will leave you be. You will stay as safe as on land you will see. Around this hard fact, I will not haw and hem. Sharks should fear us more than we do them. Sharks are endangered, this I will repeat. People hunt them down for sport and for meat, for oil and for their remarkable skins. And let's not forget their dorsal fins. It's not good. People are not the shark's natural prey, but too many people think it's that way. They want to get sharks before sharks get us. Let's speak for the sharks and stir up a fuss. Do, do your bit to help. Here's what you might say to shark fin soup supper. Just say, yep, no way. Do not go shark fishing just for a lark. Let's let the sharks be. Yes. Let's save the shark. Here's a glossary abound to be in great numbers, fossil, the remains of an animal or plant from the distant past. Graft, a surgical procedure to replace damaged skin with healthy skin either taken from another part of the body or made in a laboratory. Allure, something that brings prey close to you so it can be eaten. Is such a worm tied to a fish line. Maw, the throat and jaws of a hungry animal. Sensor, something that detects or measures a signal. Sieve, a device that separates wanted from unwanted material using tiny holes that let only smaller particles and liquids get through. Species, a group of living things that can get together and produce offspring. Vibration, the rapid back and forth motion of an object or substance. This has been a wonderful book about learning about sharks. Hark, a shark. Happy reading.